What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And that's right, you read the title correctly. Listen, and we still getting ready for this, you know, for this big game. And we doing it with me, AB. And this is another, you know, appetizer video, you know, finger food. Hey, check this out. Listen, a lot of people have left comments, right? And in the comments they say, hey, I like my, you know, those wings look good, but I like to have my wings crispy. So that's what this video is all about right here. Just making, you know, crispy chicken wings. We're going to do them both. We're going to deep fry them and we're going to do them in the oven. The reason I'm going to do them two ways is because everybody doesn't have a deep fryer. I got it. And then if you're doing them some, if you're doing some uh, wings for like a, a large group, you don't want to, you know, just be standing over, you know, the stove all day, just trying to get them. And we might not even have a pot that big. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you guys so you guys can uh, figure out what's the best option for you. And listen, we're going to make them crispy. And then when they're crispy, then you can go, you guys can go ahead ahead and like toss them in whatever sauce you like like lemon pepper uh any type of a barbecue sauce or whatever else you want to do so i'm just getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to do and listen check out this uh the seasoning that i'm gonna use hey follow this to a t i promise you this is gonna get you right in the ballpark hey better yet this right here gonna score you a touchdown and with that being said we finna break right into these ingredients all right look as you guys can see not a whole lot of ingredients right listen we gotta trust the process i'm gonna give it to you I'm gonna tell you this right here is gonna be like a great start. If you ask me, this is the way I make it right here. I just want you guys to try it before you start seeing it need a little bit more of this and that without actually uh, making it. So I'm gonna start off. Look, this is all purpose flour. We got cornstarch. And here we got salt and pepper. You see, I got both of them in the same, you know, little bowl right here. Here we got garlic powder. And again, read it, it say garlic powder, not garlic salt. Reason being, listen, we came here with some salt. So we're gonna use powder. Here we got onion, this is onion powder. And then right here, we got paprika. And then of course, I gotta show you this. These are chicken wings. Listen, I'm getting these at my local, listen, it's like a club store, but you don't have to have a you know, like a club, you know, pass to get inside. And just look at how big these are. These are a nice size. I'm not gonna do no trimming. I'm just gonna make sure they're completely padded dry. We gonna get them seasoned and floured, and then we finna, you know, get them uh, crispy. Now, I'm gonna do it two different ways. We gonna bake some, and we, listen, they gonna be crispy chicken wings, right? So we gonna bake some. I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna line them here. Uh, everybody's not gonna wanna uh, deep fry them. Probably put them in the oven to probably be the best. Reason being, you can put two of these inside your, actually you can put four of these in your onion, I mean in your oven, and it just depends on, you know, how many, you know, you're making. And I'm gonna deep fry some. So listen, you're gonna need yourself a, a strainer, you know, a scoop to get that, and a pot. Look, you want to have some sides on it so that it doesn't, you know, put all that oil on, the, uh, on your uh, stove. So, now that you see this, now let me just go ahead and show you, we finna get it all set up. All right, so you guys saw all the ingredients. Hey, look, this is a no-brainer. We're gonna get them all in here. Get yourself a whisk, and then we're just gonna whisk it together. And I'm gonna keep it, hey, let me just do it like the way most of us gonna do it, you know, at the house. You know y'all gonna be using something like this anyway. So, look, flour, cornstarch. Hey, I'm not gonna name all these ingredients. We just gonna get them all dumped in here. And then this right here, this is my secret ingredient. You know what? This is my, uh, hey, this is paprika, obviously. But I wanted to tell you, look, I like smoked paprika. This right here is what does it. Now, just go ahead and get it all mixed up. Now I use this little small bowl. I mean, you guys can put it in whatever bowl you're going to use, you know, to start coating your uh, wings. That's up to you. But I like to, like, just get it small like this. Makes it a little bit more manageable. And I like to see my pepper in there. So I'm making some, putting some fresh black cracked pepper in here also. Now remember, the purpose of this whole thing is so that when you guys, you know, cause I was reading my comments and a lot of people say, hey, they like to have crispy chicken wings. It's hard to have crispy chicken wings when you put these coatings on there, right? So I see a lot of people that, you know, we put them in the oven and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start off with a crispy chicken wing, and then we'll be able to coat them and toss them, you know, in whatever flavor we want them to turn into. All right, there you have it. Now we move over to the next step. 
Now, I'm showing you this again. Listen, these already have been washed off. You know what I mean? And they kind of like drip dry. Now what I'm gonna do is, listen, the whole key word to the whole thing is like, we want them to be crispy, right? So I just take a paper towel, go like this, and we just want to get off whatever we can as far as, you know, the moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And when you see stuff like this, just go ahead and peel this off. You know what I mean? The skin, you know what I mean? We'll just do this and then we're gonna repeat the process until we have them all, you know, over here. After that, then we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. It's kind of like self-explanatory. You know we gotta get it coated, right? So, we'll just keep doing this and I'll see you in just one second. Okay, got all these padded dry. And you know what, let me just say this part right now. Now be a good time to go ahead and set your oven. If you guys are gonna be doing the oven, oven uh, version to 375 degrees. So you wanna start preheating now. And look, I'm not gonna uh, draw this out or nothing like that. Listen, we gonna use this to coat these. We gonna put some on the rack. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some oil inside of my pan. And then we gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, deep fry some. So, I want you guys to look like when this is all over with, but this is really about the taste. And just to show you guys just how easy it is to make it. And then don't forget, you can always get yourself a bowl afterwards. And I'll leave some links up here somewhere so you guys can look at some other flavored wings that I do. But if you start off here, then you toss with whatever flavor you decide on, this right here, hands down, is gonna do it for you. So, preheat, and now let me set up the next part. Okay, now I wanna say this. Normally when I make wings or any type of chicken, I season my chicken and I season my flour, right? But because of, I'm you no, know, I'm anticipating that I'm gonna be doing some, uh, you know, some coating it with some type of flavor. I don't want to put in overpower. I can promise you, I gave you guys the right amount, you know, for that right there. That's going to be great. But I still am going to, you know, dust it a little bit with some of this fresh black pepper. You know, and then I'm gonna to toss it around, and then I'm gonna give it like two or three generous pinches of uh, salt, and we're gonna leave it like that. And again, we just don't want to overpower. Now for the salt. And we'll just leave it like that, you know? Now get in here, back in here with your hand and just, you know, work it around. Now look, they're gonna be a little tacky and then they kind of like, you know, you don't get all of the uh, moisture off, but you get a majority of it off. And what you can do now is you can just see it. You can see it by using that uh, black pepper that is getting coated on all of the different uh, pieces. Now, I'm just gonna slide this over and I'm gonna go ahead and just use this bowl because we don't have no whole lot of wings, right? So, we already seasoned here. We lightly seasoned here. This is, will ensure that you're gonna get some good flavor. Now, after washing my hands, making sure that they dry, now I'm gonna go ahead and just put one in here. And then I kinda like just squeeze it just to make sure that, you know, we want it to stay on there. Right? Shake off any excess, and then we just start lining our pan. Now you, you don't have to do them one by one. I could have put this in a, a large bowl, but I'm doing this mainly. You know, don't forget I'm making a video. I just want it to be clear to everybody. You find out what works best for you. Now don't forget, we're doing some in the oven, so I can show you that version. And then you know what? Then I'm gonna deep fry some also. So I'm saying, you have about five, six people over. There's nothing wrong with, you know, deep frying, but if you're looking for the healthier option, I'm gonna just tell you right now, hands on, the best option would be for you to do them in the oven. Much, much healthier. All right. We got these, that's how they should look right there. Don't forget, the key is, look, when you coat them, you just take them and then make a fist, you know, to make sure that you get that flour, you know, your mix and all your seasonings, you want it to adhere. So, my uh, oven is up to temp. I'm getting ready to put this in and I'm gonna set a timer for about 25 minutes and then we're gonna take a look at it. If, if I like it or if I feel like they need to be sprayed or turned over or whatever, we'll go from there. But the first 25 minutes, let's get that in. Now, Got these floured all up. These are ready to go. Now I'm getting ready to put some canola oil in here. We finna move over to the stove and I'm gonna go ahead and start, you know, frying these. Okay, now right here, you see me pouring my canola oil. I like canola oil, it has a high, uh, you know, smoking point of 400 degrees. Hey, it's just perfect for, you know, frying, you know, you're deep frying your, uh, your chicken, right? So look, I add my chicken in there. And if you notice, look, I lay it in and then I, I let it go away from me just to reduce the chance of me getting myself burned by some of this hot grease. All right, so now got all of that in there. And listen, you want to get yourself a meat thermometer, you know, some type of a instant read or whatever, because listen, we're going to look for 165 degrees. We want to make sure they're done. And you want to get your oil up to 350 degrees. And so what I did was, listen, here's a little pro tip for you guys. 
if you put it in at 350 degrees and then listen when you put your uh, chicken in there you know it's going to you know lower the temperature right so what i do is i just raise it up once i reach 350 i turn my fire up just a little bit you know what i mean just so i can help it hurry up and get back to where it's supposed to be and there that's what it looks like when it's done you know nice and crispy and that's you know just the regular deep fry now that's what it looks like when they come out of the oven Hey, they, they almost look the same, you know what I mean? There is a little bit of a difference, you know what I mean? Uh, and I will say, when you bake them, you know, the under the underbelly of the last ones that you do, they become a, just a little soft, but I'm gonna say about 90% of it is, you know, like crispy, and this is what where you should uh, start. Now you can start, you know, uh, going ahead and put your sauce on and making it whatever type of wings you would like to, be, you know, have. All right, you guys can see just, you know, you, you got two great options, right? For those of you guys that are gonna be doing something like uh, having a lot of people over, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna go on a limb and just say, you know what, the oven might be the best way to go because you can put multiple trays in there, you can load them up, you know what I mean? And you can just do a lot of volume, you know, in a short period of time, as opposed to trying to like deep fry, you know, cause then you're gonna have to just go back and forth, you know, out of the pot onto something so they can dry and then, you know, repeating the process. So I just wanted to show you guys both, both options, there they are right there. Look, we got oven fried, then you got deep fried. But just wanna let you guys know, these are the options. I don't wanna over talk it. Just wanted to show you guys two different options and uh, we go from there. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how I'm about to get out of here, folks. Peace.